Hi! Welcome to this part of my review featuring the Mythic Game Master Emulator 2nd Edition. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to continue with the Variations chapter. It's amazing how many tips, advice and resources are contained in this section. For example, you could use a book of the same theme of your adventure as a sort of random table, just page through it randomly and the page you end up with for that particular section of the adventure is going to contain the elements to fill anything within that instance. Now let's talk about the thread progress track. You never know where a mythic adventure will take you. You can use the thread progress track to focus your adventure on a target goal and keep things moving towards a conclusion. Choose a thread you want to focus on and make it the goal of your thread progress track. This is going to be the focus thread. By copying the chosen thread as a focus thread, you're allowing the thread progress track to have some control over your adventure to ensure that the thread reaches a conclusion. You can choose at any time to start a thread progress track. Use a thread progress track form to keep track of your progress towards the conclusion of the thread you are focusing on. Any scene that moves the player character significantly closer to resolving the focus thread should be considered progress. A flashpoint is an important moment in a scene that's related to the focus thread. A flashpoint is very similar to progress, with one key difference. A flashpoint event should be dramatic and important. The thread progress track is broken into phases of 5 progress points each. If a flashpoint hasn't happened by the end of the scene, then a flashpoint event is triggered. Progress along the track is usually made by the player character through normal mythic play. But what happens if you run out of ideas for how to progress? Then the discovery check enters play. A special kind of fate question for making progress when you don't know where to look for it. To make a discovery check, your player character has to do something to trigger it. This can be anything that presents an opportunity to make a discovery. The more contextually appropriate the action, the better the chances of discovering something useful, but unlike a regular fate question, the odds can never be worse than 50-50, regardless of what the player character does. A successful discovery check earns you a roll on the thread discovery check table. Treat this as a random event that uses the thread discovery check table instead of the event focus table. You have many details concerning the interpretation of a discovery, the plot armor that is protecting a plot thread until its conclusion. You also have information concerning the different events, how they advance you through the progress track until you reach a successful conclusion. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part we are going to continue with this variations section with diversifying threads. So when it comes to this track, this is to add even more granularity concerning the surprises and developments along the plot threads. This rule is of course optional, but it's still a nice thing to consider if you want to spice up things a bit. Thank you for watching this part of the review and thank you for your likes and your comments. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, the information on how to do that will be in the description below. And remember, it is better to roleplay and fail in character than not to roleplay and fail as a player. Once again, thank you and see you later.